Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Feed the Beast. And this is the world that I'm currently working on. Uh, I'll go through the entire world in a separate video. Um, but for now, I wanted to go over some turtle programs that are kind of useful and might help you out. Oh, that is not good. Let me fix this real quick. Um, but I wanted to go over in this video, I wanted to go over some turtle programs that are helpful to uh, to have because if you have these programs then you can basically set the turtle to go and not have to touch it for you know however long you set it to touch for or it would just be like forever um, let me just encase these torches real quick alright so getting to the turtle if you don't know anything about it the turtle is part of the computer craft mod and this turtle allows you to write programs and um, there's a whole API of methods and different variables and things that are included in the turtle itself and then you can just program it to do whatever you want and so the thing that's awesome about the turtle is that you can have um, a turtle dig for you and you can have it mine, dig, uh, chop trees and other things like that um, and let me show you actually how you can make a turtle if you don't know how to make one so if we go to here so you can see here, first you have to make a computer, and you can do that by getting seven pieces of stone, a, a piece of redstone, and then you want one glass pane, wherever I put my glass panes. This thing is very unorganized, to be honest. Um, I have yet to actually fully go through and organize it. So there's a computer, and oh, I am sorry for that. Let me... Again, I apologize. Let me just fix this real quick. Okay. And then, so you make a computer. And you make the computer. And then you take the computer. And then if you hit the U key while in Feed the Beast, you can see how you make a turtle. So if I do a turtle, I get seven iron ingots in a chest. So then we get the wood for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I need seven pieces of iron. So... There you go, seven pieces of iron, and then I need a computer, which I already have. So let's make the chest. There's a chest, and then you put the computer above the chest, and then you surround it with iron, and there you go. Now you have a turtle. Now the turtle by itself doesn't do anything. But what you need to do is you need to give it a tool in order to do something with it. So I need to get a pickaxe. I need to make, it has to be a diamond pickaxe. You cannot use an iron or any other kind of pickaxe. So basically, I give the turtle a pickaxe, and then I have my turtle. Now, I say use the mining turtle, because the mining turtle can, as, you can, as you'll see later, chop down trees. It can do anything. It can dig through dirt. So it's just easier that way. And so now I, got, now I showed you how to make the turtle. Now, the thing that's great about the turtle is the program, just like I said. So if I go, um, you'll start in this directory. So if you don't know what a directory and all that stuff is, I'll link you to Seth Brings tutorial on how to navigate through uh, the turtle stuff. But if I go through my programs, then I can change to the programs directory I made. And if I list them all, you can see all the programs that I've written. Um, one of two of these I have taken from Seth Bling, and one of them I wrote as a is a what is which we call inspiration from Seth Bling's programs. Um, but you can see I have a whole bunch of programs and these programs, uh, all the ones that are basically one word, like not like uh, turn left, turn right and things like that, like back, down, forward, slot up, turn left, turn right. Those are all um, what, I, what I call utility programs. And what I mean by utility programs is that they're meant to be used just to fix a quick situation. They're not be used, you know, to do anything for you. Like if I just want to say, um, so he's currently stuck against this tree. So if I just wanted to turn left, I just type turn left. And then you can see he turned left. And if I wanted to go forward, I can tell him to go forward. And then however many spaces I want, I can tell him to go two spaces forward. So there you go. And then if I wanted to go backwards, I can say back two spaces. And so now he's back next to the tree. And then if I do turn right, and there you go. And then it just, these are basically just quick movement or utility programs and they're just meant just to be a quick help to do whatever you wanted to do. So going over my programs that I wrote for this, um, the first one I wrote is called Wood 2 and it's an inspiration from, this is the inspiration from Seth Bling's program 
the um, wood that he wrote. Um, I tried taking the program directly in, and I have the uh, fuel turned off because um, I don't like having to manage all the coal and stuff. Maybe if I have a, if I can learn to manage it, then I'll get put. I'll put it back on. But for now, I turned the fuel off. Um, but this one is wood too, and if we go ahead and look at it, what this what this program ends up doing is it goes to a tree, it cuts the left column down or whatever column it's it, it's supposed to be the left column, but it can cut the um, column down. So when it does, it cuts it down or cuts it up technically. Then it comes back down. So as you can see, oh, it's called a fell and then replant, and the replant is directly taken from Seth Bling's uh, current wood program. But fell is a different one that I wrote. Um, which, as you can see, it starts at in front of the tree, digs the space in front of it, so then it moves into the tree, then it columns the tree up, then it will go all the way come all the way back down, and then it will column the other thing, and then come back down, and it, then it will replant all this stuff. And so, if I go ahead and run the program, wood two, as you can see, he's going to go through, and he's going to cut these logs down. And yes, I did re-put these logs back in because when you exit the world, when a infinite program is running, you have to then reset everything back to whatever your initial conditions are in order to get it to work. And I don't know why I left the F3 menu on, but I'm sorry about that. Um, but so when you leave a while and when you leave an infinite running program running forever and you shut your world down, you have to then manually go back, get your turtle and then, you know, uh, fix it. But so that's basically um, the wood program. I don't know how how, how tall this is. Uh, let's see if I can cut through here. So let's see how tall is this tree. Okay, so it's this tall. So you can see he's cut. He's done cutting the column, and now he's going to come all the way back down. Uh, and it would probably. I'm going to write a new program uh, soon, which will have him. Um, when he gets to the top of this column, he'll just move over a column and then he'll just go down. So instead of going down, oh, whoopsies. So you can see he got to the bottom, he turned inwards, and then he started to column back his way back up. But yeah, so this will basically cut through all the trees and give me an infinite supply of wood as long as I don't have this thing running. So if I just turn this pump off, I can collect wood infinitely, and then I can, instead of having it shoot down here, this is a machine that I will go to go through in a different video. But uh, right now, he'll just take all the wood he gets, so when he's done cutting, uh, we'll see what he does. But yeah, as you can see, I've done this multiple times, because there are leaves here that are from different trees still on top of it. And the only reason I'm like just breezing through these... um whatchamacallit, breaking through these leaves is because I have uh, a, basically an infinite supply of diamonds and I could go to the nether and XP grind if I really wanted to beyond repair. It's awesome. So he comes down here and when he's done cutting the tree, he's going to replant the, the saplings. So when he does that, he's going to replant it. He's going to stock all of his wood in here. Then he's going to plant the last one and then bone meal it until the tree grows. Like that, and it, the process repeats infinitely. So yeah, that's the wood cutting program that I wrote, and all these programs will be available in the description of the video. If you want, like to download and implement them, I'll have a tutorial on how to implement uh, these programs into your own world soon. But what you do, so then the other program I have, as you can see, this kind of looks a little strange, doesn't it? But um, it's a mining program, and it's mainly meant to let me know that, hey, there are diamonds here, I need to come to this um, mine and do it. So I have another turtle down here, and he's running off old uh, programs. Um, so like I have a turn left program, but instead of it being just a turn left command, it's now a for loop that does it indefinitely. So if I want him to turn right, I have to do, uh, I have to do turn left and then I have to say turn left three times and then now he'll be turned to the right but anyway so he's running off old programs that I wrote and I need to update his um, drive of stuff but if I go ahead and I move him into the position for my next program I need to move him one more forward so turn him right and then I need to 
Oh, whoopsies. See, this is why I need to update his drive because I don't, um, I keep forgetting that he does not have the latest programs. So what this program will do is if you can't tell from these, um, you know, these shafts or these tunnels, as you want to call them that, is he will go through and he will mine out a 100 by 2 um, tunnel like this and he'll just mine it all the way down and then just come all the way back. And then when he's done mining it all, he'll come back all the way to the end and he'll put it in this chest right here. And I've basic I've taken all the stuff out that I wanted from it, but uh, what he'll that's what he'll do. So if I, it's called mine, and it won't go a hundred. It'll go. It, it's a argument program, and so I need to specify how long of a tunnel I want him to dig. So if I know, for example, I'll dig into my base. If I dig more than fifty blocks, I can say dig out a fifty long tunnel. And so what this does is there's a pro there's a function in here called mine tunnel which goes all the way down uh and then it even has just, it even has a special case for gravel because as you can tell from over here um again I apologize for the lag this is not really the uh sturdiest uh mod pack and I've had some slight frame rate issues but as you can tell I've have I have chests scattered in multiple levels and there's like even stuff over here that uh it's so like over here is the best example but so like there's one here there's two here then i go over again and then there's one back there here 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 they're all over the place and so i never knew what the problem was with my program and i couldn't figure out what was what was like causing that problem and it turns out it was gravel because when gravel was going um my turtle wouldn't detect that it needed to then uh account for gravel and so when it would dig through the gravel it would count that as a space and then it would go back however many spaces gravel uh, fell in its way so now what it does is it counts for accounts for gravel and then it'll just go that distance so like if I put in a hundred it'll go for one and then it'll go to a hundred spaces and then come back and this is the loop that will do it so right now what it does is tunnel tunnel will go all the way down and then it go all the way back this will select the chests I currently have placed in his first slot I'm gonna clear his inventory so it makes it easier um, it'll select his chests it'll dig out a spot for the chest if there's something in the way if it doesn't then it just doesn't do anything it'll place a chest it'll select the second slot uh, because that's where the first set of items go and then it will start to get rid of all of his items that are in his inventory except for the chests so it'll drop all the stuff in the chest, then it will turn right, um, and if there's stuff in his way, it'll move forward and then it'll move over two spaces, or it'll leave a two wide gap in the tunnel. So it'll go here, here, and then it would start mining like here, for example. So, and the reason it does that is because then you can see both sides of these blocks, but if you did three wide or you did one wide, you're wasting space and wasting, you know, uh, mining tunnels. So if I go ahead, and I hit go on this so if I hit mine 100 as you can see he's gonna dig now a tunnel all the way down and I'm not gonna uh, I'm gonna cut to the end of this but so he'll come all the way down to 100 blocks so he's only like six blocks in so it takes about 10 times longer than that or a lot longer than that but the main reason it is is because I want to find diamonds so I can just keep making more stuff out of diamonds and as you could saw on my chest I had like 30 blocks of diamonds because what he does is then I just go with this fortune pickaxe and then I just go to the tunnel that had a diamond in it and then I just go fortune the diamonds out. So it's a really easy way to get diamonds. And uh, let's go ahead and cut to when he is finished. And here's another example of what's great about the turtle. Having the turtle mine for me is that it accounts for lava problems like this. So if the turtle ever accounts for... Um, lava it will just or if like if I was mining this tunnel for example I couldn't mine it because the lava would get in my way so I'd have to like do all this manipulation I mean for this one it's just kind of easy I just do that that and it's done but if there was like a lava flow in a wall or something and then it blocks my entire passage the turtle can just keep going through and then I can just you know do all anything that I want and uh, again let's just go ahead and let's just cut to when the turtle finishes mining the tunnel so as you can see, the turtle is now running towards the end of his tunnel, and you see, you can see his inventory is kind of full. So when he gets to the end of this tunnel, he's gonna place a chest down. 
So right here, he'll place a chest, drop all of his stuff off in it, and see he's selecting the slot and then dropping it all. Move over two spaces, and then he's going to start a new tunnel, and then he's going to keep going. And it just goes on forever and ever, at least until I uh, cancel out the world, and or uh, I save and quit out of the world, and then I have to reset him myself. But again, it's a small price to pay to having a fully automated mining system down here. So... Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to have you writing more total programs soon, so if you really like these programs, or if you're a newcomer to these videos because you uh, were looking for total programs, I'll have more coming soon. Um, I'm going to have an infinite scrap program for a turtle coming uh, soon once I get the time to write the code for it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.